Hello guys, welcome to the HODL EOS channel. If you are new, my name is Rob. Hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell to join the HODL gang. In this video, we're going to run some calculations to figure out at what price EOS would have to be for Ethereum transaction fees to be equal to EOS transaction fees. Now, this is totally discounting that there are free transactions on EOS. If you have enough staked, you can send as many transactions as you like. And the only way to pay transaction fees on EOS is if you do not have EOS staked and you rent EOS resources from Rex. Ethereum fees are currently in a range that they have been for the last couple of years. So this is not looking at ETH fees when they spike like we saw back in 2018, the beginning of 2018. Saw this spike here, saw a couple little spikes here. This is a normal range for Ethereum fees. YCharts has the current Ethereum fee at 22 cents per transaction for May 6th, 2020. We are going to use a more conservative fee number from ethgasstation.info, which puts it at almost eight cents per transfer. We will be using the fast time less than two minutes because all transactions on EOS take way less than two minutes. You'll never have a five minute or a 30 minute unless you set up deferred transactions or something like that. But, but we're going to be looking at a standard transaction and that will occur on EOS a lot less than two minutes. So we'll be using this almost eight cents per transfer number for the Ethereum transaction cost. So like mentioned earlier, EOS transactions are free. The only way to get a fee for EOS transactions is the price from Rex. If you do not have EOS staked in CPU and net, you can rent from Rex to get those resources. And this costs a certain amount of EOS to do so. So that's the only EOS transaction fee we can look at. Here is an EOS transfer I just did about 30 minutes ago, and it cost point. 262 milliseconds of CPU. This is roughly three EOS staked to CPU to do this transaction. Here on the Rex rental page, we are renting double that three EOS amount at 6.36 EOS, which will get you two EOS transfers per day for 30 days. But just to be safe, we're going to leave it at this double number for these calculations. So to rent 6.3609 EOS from Rex and staked to CPU. Currently, it costs 0.0008 EOS to rent that amount for 30 days. With the current price of EOS at $2.70, this means that 0.0008 is the cost to rent those times the $2.70 gives us Point zero zero two one six dollars to rent that or about a fifth of a cent to rent that amount of resources. If we take the current cost of one Ethereum transfer at point zero seven eight point zero seven eight and divide that by the point zero zero two one six, which is the cost of an EOS transfer when using Rex, that gives us the number 36. So EOS is currently 36 times cheaper than Ethereum based on transaction fees. If we want to discover at what price EOS would have to be for Ethereum fees to equal EOS fees, we would have to multiply EOS price times this number, EOS price $2.70. So 36.1111111 times $2.70 equals $97.50, a fraction less than $100 EOS. Now, this cost for Rex we used back here. It cost 0 0.00216 or a fifth of a penny to rent that amount of EOS from Rex. But that amount of EOS is rented for an entire 30 days. So you could send actually 30 transactions, one every day for that 30-day period. 
So if we wanted to get crazy, we could multiply this number times 30 because you're actually getting 30 transactions from that and we get a ridiculous number of 2,925. But if we just wanted to go off one transfer for one transfer, if you just wanted to send one EOS transfer and didn't care about the extra 29 days of transfers you had, you would get the number $97.50 per EOS is the price we would have to see for EOS fees to equal the current Ethereum fee number. So this is something that interested me and I just figured I'd record it as I went through the calculations to share with you guys. If the fee to transfer on EOS using Rex was the same as the current Ethereum transfer fee for a fast transaction less than two minutes because all everything on EOS is less than two minutes. EOS would currently have to be just under $100 at $97.50. And this also applies to other EOSIO blockchains like Telos. Telos is an EOSIO blockchain that is currently seeing big surges in new accounts created. The other day, Telos had more accounts created than EOS, Wax, and Boss combined. There are many new dApps coming to Telos and partnerships which you can read up on in the news section on this page that I will leave linked in the description. And if you have not picked yourself up a free Telos account yet, Telos offers free Telos accounts for everyone. You can get it through the free Telos account button on either desktop, mobile, or using the Telegram bot. This message on Telos is brought to you with the support of the Telos community via the worker proposal system. But that's going to do it for me for this one, guys. Let me know what you think about these numbers down in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, join the HODL gang. I will see you guys in the next one.